Okay, I'm Frank Hunt. I'm the regional secretary of Unison in the northwest. Uh, yeah, northwest Unison is the biggest of the union's 12 regions. Uh, the union's got 1.3 million members, 210,000 or so uh, are members in this region. 70% of them are women. Many of them are low paid. Uh, many of them are in part time work. Some of them are in two and even three part time jobs. Uh, we've got members across the main uh, public sector groups, education, health, local government, uh, the utilities. Uh, we are the public sector union. Mm. Um, and Frank, what made you get involved in union, uh, union work? Uh, well, I've always been interested in trade unions. Uh, and for, for someone of my age, one of the big things that was uh, you know, an inspiration was the anti-Vietnam demonstrations. So for me, it was around that time that I started to get involved in politics and the union. Um, I am the regional secretary now and I've been for seven years, but prior to that I was a lay official for 25 years uh, in both Nalgo and Unison. Uh, I, was, I, you know, I did all the usual things, branch officer positions, regional positions, uh, and I was an elected member of the NEC for five years before I was the regional secretary. Mm. So you've been, um, you've been involved with union activity for a long time? All my working life, yeah. Well, how, what changes have you seen? Um, in that time? Well, I think anyone who lived through the Thatcher years, uh, you know, looks on the position we're in now as a better position. You know, 13 years of a Labour government was better than what we'd had before, but still not enough, you know. And I think if you think about what the, the coalition have done since they've been in power, what is it, two months, two and a half months to condemn uh, coalition. The, the, the one thing the Tories know how to do is to deliver for their class. And you know, it's a great shame that when Labour came to power in 1997, they, they, I, I believe they failed to deliver for their class. Um, you know, if you think about the first two years of the Labour government in 97, they kept to the Tory budget proposals. They don't get any of that messing out of the Tory government. They come in, they look after their class, they attack working people, they set things up for the private sector. So, you know, there's the major difference between the two political parties. And whichever party is in power in this country has a massive impact on how the trade unions operate. And where do you see unions operating in the future from this point on? This is an exciting time for trade unions because I believe over the next couple of years we will be the main opposition to what is happening to working people. Uh, you know, at the moment, for example, we're going through a leadership process in the Labour Party with all the candidates spending time going around the country trying to, you know, garner votes from Labour Party members. It's a great pity that they're not concentrating their efforts on attacking this coalition. You know, by the time we have a new leader of the Labour Party in September, much of what this coalition has promised will be on track.